And this is a comic show uh, featuring Geek Point. It's the uh, crazy interim period of the Geek Easy where we're redoing everything, which will go into a GE relaunch, much like the DC relaunch. So some things are going to be way better, some things are going to be a little worse, but uh, it's going to be great. And uh, we had the best time last week. I cannot believe I didn't get arrested for multiple things like arson, and I can't believe I'm like not didn't choke on my own vomit all the yeah but if if you guys want to see what we're talking about um triforce mike's sister was in town uh Triforce mike and uh we did a video with her a flashpoint video where we were both girls and it's on our youtube channel but uh we that, spoiled everything in flashpoint oh spoiler i spoil everything in flashpoint so if you've read flashpoint and want some yucks watch the video absolutely or if you want to really get off on me in a wig with like full makeup i'm talking like oh my god i'm talking about like i want shiz <laughs> <laughs> like these comics rock. Oh my these goodness. comics suck. But anyway, let's go on to the comics, which is what you guys watch this for. You don't watch it for my zany shenanigans, uh, you know, whatever. Uncanny okay, X-Force. I know you guys, there was a lot of people, there's a lot of feedback that people didn't like Otherworld, they didn't like all the, the British magical weirdness, blah, blah, blah. But to me, it ended like an X-Force story. Every X-Force story needs to end with someone killing a friend of theirs. Absolutely. Yeah, you have to kill somebody that is attached to you in some way. A, mm -hmm. a kid, a brother, you know, like a, a comrade, someone you have to kill. That's the end of every good X-Force book. And I was telling people, just hang on, hang on. Rick Ritter's given us such great things with X-Force. If you didn't really dig this book or this art or this, this, this other world, you know, just hang on for one more comic. You know, just hang on for one more <laughs> issue. All right, this issue, issue 24 is what I was talking about. Great freaking art, single issue story, payoff of the subplot between Phantom X and Psylocke, which was a great subplot in Otherworld, mm -hmm. you know, and it's exactly what, you know, they delivered on what they're going to say. Uh, AOA Nightcrawler said, I'm going to stay in this universe just to track down my old comrades and kill them, and that's, that's what, what happens. Happened. And uh, it's Wolverine, Deadpool, and Nightcrawler. This is freaking awesome. If you stop oh, getting it, if you stop getting it during Otherworld, get this single issue. Just one issue. One issue. Judge whether you get any more based on this one issue. Give them a chance. Uh, a vs X2, if you didn't particularly like one or the dialogue on one or whatnot, this is Jason Aaron, man. This is Jason freaking Aaron. So obviously I read this about a month ago because Jason Aaron is, you know, my butt buddy. And um, it's awesome. I really loved issue two. I, I know that a lot of people are like, ah, you know, you're you're all look look at this look at this homoeroticism. Oh my god. You know goodness. when I said it was just like big muscly men, you know, beating each other up. That this is a football game. Yeah, you know, the, the whole like, you know, Red Hulk and, and Colossus thing. This is they're just trying to do this now. I mean they're just you know, but I really, really am digging this A vs X. It's the little kid in me, the twelve year old frosted mini wheat side that I just love that stuff. It's John Amina um, on art, so it's fucking good. We got a, a tie-in of you're not supposed to say that word. We have a uh, Avengers book by Ben Dis's tie-in. I know the last time was just a lot of talking, but you know, when you see everyone on, on the, the carrier and it's all these people on the carrier, and it's like, well, how did they get on the carrier? How did Cap convince all of them? So that last issue was how he convinced all of them. You know, a great soaring speech. Uh, this isn't a great soaring speech. There's actually some action here, but you know, it's still kind of prelude, but it is a tie-in. Uh, this, on the other hand, freaking awesome, Beast and Wolverine, I love it, it seems like, you know, Beast and Wolverine are the mutants that are on the Avengers side, not the X-Men side, because they both freaking hate Cyclops. Both of them hate Cyclops. So, if you hate Cyclops, and if you were on the Avengers side, get this book. It's awesome, and it's Jason Aaron, and I just, I love you, Jason Aaron, you're the man. You can make any crossover or anything work for me, and if it doesn't work for me, I'm going to call you up and, and whine like a bitch, and you need to soothe me. Um, and if you do like Jason Aaron, if, if you were in my store and you bought issue 8 just because it had the Triforce Mike tribute, you know, dedication, and you're like, oh, this is good, I like this art, I like this, what, you know, I'm kind of interested in going back, boom, it's here, it's out, it's the collection, it's Wolverine as a headmaster of a school that he named, you know, the Gene Gray Institute, just uh -huh. to piss off Cyclops. So it's great. There's little bamps. There's um, characters from X Force in here. Two characters from X Force, and it's just Good. awesome. It's awesome stuff. Moving on to um, the Night of Owls. This is the start of the Night of Owls. Cool. And Scott Snyder had had that slow build, and now it's just it's it's on. It's like boiling over the pot. Ridiculous. Oh my goodness. And you know Bruce is Bruce is. I don't want to spoil things, but. 
let's just say Alfred has to go into the role of Oracle and uh, and, and, an and, pennies worth. and has to get the bats of prey all together. Oh yeah, yeah man. He, he, there, there is a he. He didn't spoil it. He just made a pun that you don't know about because you didn't read it yet. So uh, this is freaking awesome. I can't wait for the whole crossover. This is how you build a crossover. Yeah. Um, and then Nightwing is also, you know, the first part of the whole thing. And it says the Night of Owls, and this is awesome. Like, if you weren't getting Nightwing up to now, fine. I don't care. Don't get it. This issue is so good. Not only is it a tie-in issue, it's also all the background of the Talons, and were the Talons all, was the whole Haley Circus just a, a means of, of recruiting new talents, you know? Was uh, Richard Grayson supposed to be a talent? Was, you know, was his father a talent? Was it, who's it, you know, uh, this is, I'm just trying to not give away anything and say that this is very freaking awesome and important and fun and it will be sold out at every freaking store in Orlando except for mine. So read it, come here, buy it, read it. I have an inside man at DC that kind of gives me a heads up. So, you know, I'm, it's a win-win for me and DC and the customers. Not the other stores in town, but screw them. Um, Wonder Woman with guns is awesome. I love this this run of Wonder Woman, my favorite run of Wonder Woman ever. I it just keeps getting better and better and better. Well, Wonder Woman goes to hell. It's yeah, and she has guns. Come on, awesome. you can't go wrong with that. In, in, instead of just always deflecting bullets, she's shooting them. It makes more sense. She's cutting out the middleman. And it's just awesome. Yeah. You have seventy years of doing things one way, and you're doing it another way. You know, it's it's why gay stuff is so in vogue now. Um, Justice League. Yes, it's not uh, Jim Lee, but it's you know it's the issue eight. So issue eight of Justice League historically has to have Green Arrow joining the team. Obviously, yeah. you know, going all the way back to the original Justice League issue eight. And I didn't research that. I just seem to remember it from my little kid mind looking at the DC trading cards. And I'm not going to go back and look at it. Whatever. But issue eight. Okay. And uh, you know he comes and gives them a hard time, and it's. Pretty freaking awesome. And then there's this like two page spread lead up thing with Ivan Reese art that's just like, Gorgeous. oh my effing God, I can't even, I don't even want to show the camera this, but it's phenomenal. It's like, you know, it's the big seven. It's the big seven plus cyborg. Um, decipher what you will from that. And uh, and it also has the uh, Shazam backup story. Yep. Speaking of Shazam backup stories and background on Shazam, we're not giving this out today. Because you get it on free comic book day, but we have it, and it's awesome. It is awesome. It has original Jim Lee art. It's phenomenally awesome. I mean, it has like it has like this multiple page spread of something that you know. I guess I shouldn't show people, but oh my god, this is this is just this is this is this is, this is DC bringing their A game to free comic book day. Yes, I can't wait to put this in everyone's hands, but I can't do it until. May fifth. May fifth. And uh, lastly, um, we didn't talk about anything indie this week. Everything came out last week, you know. Yeah. Could have talked about like Manhattan Projects 2, which I love, or, or Walking Dead, which is always good. But um, talk about Cinderella. This is a great book. It's fun. It's a single volume, one and done. It's the second one, but you don't have to read them in order in any way. It's, it's fun and fabled of forever. It's, you know, from Russia with love. It's, it's great, and it's, it's, you don't have to even have read the other fables to enjoy this. All you have to do is know Cinderella is a secret spot. So enjoy espionage, enjoy Cinderella in a bikini, enjoy Russia. He's good time. Yes, yeah, so the Venn diagram of that is like the two people that will buy this from me. <laughs> but anyway, it's great, and it's by the writer of um, I, Zombie, and uh, who, you know, nominated for different things and won different things, and it's, uh, it's great. See, I can just say different things, and no one can like, he didn't win a Harvey or an Eisner, <laughs> he was only nominated. At, I don't care. Your He's, vague proclamations are Yes, so he is uh, an award nominated and our winner of different awards possibly. And um, you can take that to the bank. It's a great week of comics. You can tell I'm freaking excited for this stuff. I freaking love comics. I love this Geek Easy. I love my Pokeball lamps. We love uh, Geek Point. You know, and I, it, you know I, I almost burned down a whole park you know, the other night and some power lines, but I'm totally outside of the grief cycle. Um, and we're just gonna rock and roll this geek easy. It's gonna be freaking awesome. Join us. Thanks, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.